Hello and welcome back to Proactive New York. I'm Christine Corrado. With me right now is Gerald Comision, CEO at Todos Medical. Gerald, great to see you. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Gerald, lots to talk about today. Let's first start off with your new supply agreement with Integrated Health. Tell me more about that. Uh, yeah, so Integrated Health uh, has managed to put together a national mobile CLIA package. Uh, which means that they have a CLIA license uh, that can be deployed in a mobile lab or multiple mobile labs um, that can be uh, delivered pretty much anywhere in the country. And as a result of that, um, they partnered up with Motopara Foundation, which is a group that we've been working closely with, uh, to be able to put those into some pretty advanced connect boxes and turn those connect boxes into biosafety level three labs. So, you know, that's Motopar's specialty working with Connex boxes. They've done a lot of engineering with the military, whether it's for uh, disaster relief, data centers, mobile surgical centers, et cetera. So the, um, you know, the infrastructure around those Connex boxes, they know really well. Uh, and so they optimize those for uh, mobiles. And then they hooked up with the owner of this CLIA lab license integrated um, as part of the package to be able to deploy so that's been you know, quite the experience in going through actually building a lab from scratch and going through all the validations and optimizations in an environment where there's a lot of scarcity. Um, so we've had to you know, identify new tools to be able to use to really meet the demand because there's gonna be hundreds of these out there. For those who might not be familiar with the term CLIA lab, why is that significant? Uh, so CLIA is Cl Clinical Laboratory Improvement Amendments. So this uh, was an act passed, you know, a couple decades ago that basically paved the pathway for uh, laboratory developed tests and for a standard uh, on how labs should be operated. Um, so uh, because of these kind of, you could call it improvement amendments, um, there is optimized for high complexity, which means you can do certain tests that are relatively complicated, genetic testing, et cetera medium complexity, it's a lot of blood-based tests, and then CLIA wave, which are tests, you know, basically that can be in a doctor's office that don't need a true lab environment. And because CLIA governs all the labs in the U.S., being able to meet those guidelines allows you to perform certain types of testing in certain places. This Every state has their own. Got it. This supply agreement that you have formed with Integrated Health, is it similar to the one that you also formed with the Melbourne Biotech? Uh, no, uh, well, they're similar, uh, but related. So for Melbourne, we are buying from Melbourne and then we're selling to our clients or we're providing to our clients in exchange for long-term reagent supply agreements. With Integrated Health, um, we're actually distributing. We're supplying them with the Melbourne, with uh, our Andes machines, with our different kinds of kits that we have, with the rapid tests that we have. So we're really supplying, equipping, uh, delivering to integrated everything that they need to deliver uh, testing in those mobile labs. And we're buying some of those pieces from Melbourne. And I know that you also recently formed an equity financing partnership with Aid Genomics. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah, so it's not equity per se, although you could say it's equity into our contract. So what AID has done is um, they've built up several labs in Israel for testing. Um, they're now known as one of the worldwide leaders for you know, ramping up testing capacity for different jurisdictions. Um, so you know, we obviously have a lot of relationships in Israel being an Israel-based company. They saw what we were doing in the US and this is you know, a big expansion opportunity uh, being a developed country with the resources necessary to do a lot of PCR testing. And they thought that that was their best path to be able to grow. And for us, um, getting access to uh, some of the key components to allow for scaling to do large volume uh, for us was worth it uh, to bring them in and give up some of our profit in exchange for them, uh, you know, basically paying to buy into the contract uh, with their uh, relationship with TCAN. And then, so they're putting up the money to buy those pieces of equipment. And they're also uh, giving their expertise to optimize uh, scale. So what that basically means is, you know, they've built labs for 10, 15, 20,000 tests a day in Israel. They're gonna come here and help us do that. And so for every 
you know, every time we sell more tests, we obviously make more money. And if they can have, allow us to scale to a much larger capacity, you know, giving up some of the profits for that scale is very important because it allows us to fulfill our mission of, of delivering a significant portion of the testing capacity for the U.S. Well, looking ahead, what does the plan look like to scale? Well, so we have uh, six existing contracts with our clients that call for ongoing reagent supply agreements. We're working with those clients uh, as they get up and running and operational and or start to order from us. And so, you know, the money uh, from those contracts is starting to come in that we've laid out, uh, which is obviously a very important step for us to start cash flowing. As we, that money starts to come in and we start to feel comfortable that the business model um, is really sustainable, you know, we brought on a sales team that can, you know, really push that model out to other labs. So now that we have our partnership to be able to scale in combination with our sales team that is going out there talking to labs, we think that we can really start to, you know, move the needle, uh, you know, October, November, December on really getting labs up to speed. And then, you know, obviously once we have this install base for PCR testing capacity, ultimately we're going to end up selling things other than COVID tests through that sales channel. So right now it's about getting the install base, uh, delivering for our clients, you know, really dealing with this pandemic where there's a lot of opportunity from a business perspective. And then, you know, looking out into the future with our other proprietary tests and other types of tests that can be sold into that install base. Gerald, great to see you. Thanks so much. Have a great weekend. Thanks. You too.